Hey everyone, I thought I'd make a video today about the electric choke wire hookup. There's been some discussion in our Facebook group about where do we hook up the electric choke wire. Do we hook it to the alternator or somewhere else? So the Weber carburetor, they say in the documentation to run the choke to a 12 volt keyed on source not a constant source just when the key is turned on. Generally this works in most cases fine if you just run the wire to the back of your alternator. However, the back of the alternator puts out 7 volts. Is that enough to heat up the bimetal spring and properly activate the choke? Yes and no. It does work in warmer temps or I don't know spring and fall but in the heavy part of winter what you may find is that the choke will open but it'll close very quickly let's say if you ran into the grocery store or a parts house or whatever you're doing you're making quick trips around town and it heats up and then you go in and come back out it's going to be choked again and you're just going to burn more fuel that way now this is when it's really cold out I'd say it's 30 or lower it's not optimal what I like to do is after I've cleaned up some of this wiring on this passenger side fender well, there's a, some wires that are left over. Now granted, I cut everything that went to the computer, but some of this wiring comes from the loom this way, and it went to several plugs that I'm no longer using, several things, like that's the horn relay, I am using that. But there were other things like high altitude compensators or vacuum things, modules and whatnots. So I took those out, but there's several plugs left. <clears throat> and I used a, uh, what I call a test light. It's a circuit tester light. It lights up when you find a power source. And generally on the light, you can just ground it to your negative battery cable and just turn your key on inside. To on and then come out here and start poking around and look for a power source the light will light up and when you find one go in there and turn the key off and see if it goes off and if you find one which I have and I labeled it yeah with a little bit of red marker it's faded but that's my source now it's not the the most attractive situation I could probably do better but that's how it is for now and it works great Alright, so that wraps that up. I hope it's helped some of you that had that on your mind. If you found this video useful, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. Hit the notification bell for when new stuff comes out. You'll be in the know. Thanks for watching.